Hi, this is Mark Ellison with the Mongoose team. In this video, we're going to use the issue tracking app from the Introduction to Mongoose training series to show some examples of form scripting. One of the design goals of Mongoose is to allow app development with minimal coding, but for the exception cases, we want to provide a convenient and efficient environment to add code. Form scripting is the mechanism for adding .NET code into the client portion of your app. The code is saved by WinStudio in the Forms database and is run by using the WinStudio event model. Before we start, note that when referring to scripting, we're referring to form and global scripts, which give us the opportunity to insert either c -sharp or C++ code into the UI processing. IDEO extension class coding gives us the opportunity to add .NET code into the app server. Let's get started. On the process defaults form, we can control our default language. It's set to c -sharp, but it can be overridden on each form and global script. In the user preferences, we can select our script editor. For this example, we'll be using the home form of the issue tracking app. Enter design mode and check the script language under the behavior group. It's c -sharp, which is what we want, so click the edit form script button. Public void sign out curly braces application dot sign out. Mongoose adds some help to the object model for us that we can use. Compile and click OK. Note that the code isn't saved to the forms database until we save the form in WinStudio. Now we need to create an event handler to call our form script. Select the sign out button and have it generate an event named sign out. We need to create a handler for that event. That's the type form script method. Click on Parameters, then Type Specific, and we should see our script in the dropdown. Click OK Out, then Save. Enter Run Mode and click Sign Out, then Log Back In. And if we switch to the smartphone version of the form, our script is shared there too automatically. Now let's look at an example on the Issues form. We've created logic that requires a date when an issue's status is changed to close. As it is, we have to choose a date, but it would be nice if it defaulted to the current date. We'll be minimizing the length of our code by using substitution keywords and parameters passed to our script, and we'll be leveraging the data changed event within WinStudio. The data changed event is generated when a component's value is changed, the user leaves the component or selects from a list, and any validation logic has been applied and successfully executed. In design mode, make sure the script language is set to C-sharp, then click Edit Script, then add the status change method. It'll expect a few parameters for this as strings. We can use IntelliSense to complete this. For more information on these scripting APIs, check out the Mongoose documentation. In brief, this will set the value of the property in the current row in the collection and mark modified, and tell all of the dependent objects bound to it that the value has been changed. Compile and click OK, then save the form. Now let's execute the form script by using a data changed event handler. Select the status combo box, then on the events tab in the data change field, type in status change. This will generate an event named status change when data has been changed in this component. Create a new event handler for it by clicking the ellipsis, then click new. The type is form script, then select our method which is called status changed. For the parameters, enter p status comma cur date. We could have written code to retrieve these values using Mongoose APIs, but this way saves us some coding. Click OK back to the form. Select the grid, then click the edit columns icon, and we can set the data changed event to status changed here too. Save the form and enter run mode to test. Close an open issue on the form and we see that the close date is set to the current date and the row is marked modified. Now we can test the grid column by doing the same thing and it works here too. For our last example we're going to add on to our customers form by creating a form script that opens the customers address in Google Maps. Start by adding a button to the form and name it btn get map. Then let's assign a png to the button Again, make sure the script language is C-sharp in the form properties, then click Edit Form Script. 
What this does is passes in address, city, state, and postal code as parameters, formats that information into the URL and URL parameters for calling the Google Maps API. Compile and click OK. We need this button to generate an event that we can handle, so let's name that event go to map. Then we can create an event handler for it that takes those parameters using p sub name. The handler type is form script method. Click the ellipsis on parameters, then on type specific parameters. Select our script name from the drop down. Then in the parameters field, we want to pass in p address one, comma p city, comma p state, and comma p postal code. Now we need to create another event handler for GoToMap, that's the type GoToURL. Then in the parameters field we want to put that variable GoogleMapURL from the form script. Save into run mode, and if we have address information on our customer, we'll click the button and their Google Maps page opens in a browser. These three examples were designed to give you an introduction to form scripting, but much more is possible. For more tutorials and documentation, visit the Mongoose portal. For technical support, visit Infor Extreme, and for general questions and comments, email mongoose at infor.com. This is Mark from the Mongoose team. Thanks for watching.